Let us now see this uh, simple pendulum experiment. So we are using this uh, FET simulations for the radio university. So what it says is something like this. We just release this. And leave it. So you can see it is oscillating. Okay. Now this is oscillating like this. So this experiment is basically uh, finding out the acceleration due to gravity using compound pendulum. So basically compound pendulum is a rigid uh, body. It is rotating about its vertical axis. So here you have, you can see introduction it will give you what all, you can change its length, you can change its mass, you can select different planets. The planets are the Earth, the Moon, Jupiter and any other planet. Then you can plot energy graph and you can perform the experiment. So to perform the experiment, you must go to the third category that is written as lab here. So let us start from here. Initially, there is no rotor. So this is a scale. Then stopwatch. Then period. So let me just stop this. Bring it back to zero. You can have a length changed from 0.1 to 1 meter as you can see. Similarly, mass also can be changed from 0.1 to 1 kg. You can select any of these planets. So, let us not change the mass. Let us keep the mass as 1 kg constant. As you change the length, you can see the length move. Now that it is kept at 0.2, so this is the scale here. See the middle of this, center of the block is at 20 centimeters which is equal to 0.2 meters. So you can vary the length and find out the time period. Time period is time taken to complete one oscillation. So what are you doing here? You are not calculating the time, some time is fixed automatically period is calculated using this period calculation here. So what you have to do is fix this at one length, draw it to one side less than 5 degrees, don't go for this thing. See that it is oscillating. When you feel that you are able to see then switch on the time period and this. It will count and stop here. So one oscillation is said to be complete when you say the drawing it to one side, come to zero, goes to the other side, comes back. From where it is starting, it has to come back. Then it is said to have completed one rotation. So now what you have to do? You have to open one Excel sheet. Open the Excel sheet. Okay. And in this Excel sheet, Opening another Excel uh, sheet here, you will be seeing the Excel sheet here. Yeah. So, determination of acceleration due to gravity using compound pendulum, length of the pendulum, 
So whatever length you are taking, so point one. Put this here. Point one I have taken for point six, point seven, point eight. You can add all these length here. Okay. So now let me put point one here. Zero point one. For zero point one. What was the time period? Let's do it again. So now what we can do is draw to one side. I've taken the larger amplitude to show you how it is. Otherwise, you should be taking it as a smaller amplitude. Yeah. So it is 0.9071 seconds. So stop this. Come to Excel sheet. And point one, how much it was? Point nine zero seven. So what will you write here? Point nine zero seven. So this is the formula. This into the same number. This will give you the square of this. Let me remove all this. So like this, point six, point one, point two, point three, all these you have to do. Up to one meter you can complete. Some values I have taken here. So copy and leave. Automatically it will calculate. Then L by T square. What is the formula? Let me remove all these things here. T you calculated. T square you calculated. You are using Earth. All these also let me make it bigger so that you can see it as a bigger font. It's better now. So now L by T square. Where is L? L is here. L is here. So whenever you want to write, write a formula. L. Okay. Divided by where is your t square? T square is here. And copy this formula into all the cells like this. There is no need of this cell. Okay. So now what should you calculate? Average. You calculate average. You have a formula. The moment you put is equal to sign here, you can see average. Say average. Then it will tell you generally by definition or by default whatever cells are above that it will take the average of that. So it is already giving you G five to G eight. Yes, it is five six seven eight. So it's correct. So say enter. The second one average. This is average L by T square. Use the formula G. Z equal to what is the formula? The formula says 4 pi square L by T square. I suppose you know that. So 4 into pi value is 3.14 into 3.14 into put a bracket L by T square. So this is the formula. How do you get this now? Put an is equal to sign 4 into 3.14 into 3.14 into where is your L by T square average? Average is here in this cell. Close the bracket. See? 8.34. On earth it should be how much? 9.8. You are getting 8.5. So some values are missed here. So what to do is complete this experiment by taking different values 0 0.1, 0 0.2. You can see the length is changed, isn't it? 0 0.5, 0 0.6. You can see the length moving. In each case, repeat this experiment. Then what will you do? You choose moon. Okay. Do the same experiment. Now where will you write? 
you need not go uh, move Jupiter's up. In this only you can write, that way also you can. Okay. Or if you want, you rename it as Earth. Go here. Rename it as Moon. Okay. And you can copy these length. Or you can write, you can fill up this data beforehand only. Point 0.2 like this. PC is so it is taking it as point 0.1.1. 1. 1, so you should tell her it is point 0.2. So it is out of fill. This is your length L. You can write length of the pendulum as you have done it or you can copy the heading here. Length of the pendulum. Control C here. Come here and paste. So you should wrap the text. Wrap the text. Okay. This also will make it bigger. Repeat this experiment, write the time period here, and L by T squared, same way you can do. Now, how do you do this graph? Those who have missed the graph, select L by T squared, only up to here you have to select, insert, go to scatter graph. Choose any one of these in the beginning. Maybe this. This is line. Go back. Insert. Scatter. Whichever way, how you want only L and T square. So insert. Scatter. you want or you want only one point change chart type. So how do we give it just a scatter? You can join them by means of lines like this. Join like this. So depends on what graph you are keeping you can try this. So this is how you will be doing these graphs. L by T square graph only you have to draw you need not do all this. So this is one experiment that 